on a justice bus trip to do legal intake with Legal Aid. We're going to Point Reyes Station up in rural um, Marin, a coastal town. They don't get a lot of legal services. Um, Can you imagine a family of four living in California and trying to have a life and pay their bills and get food on $27,000? These are 13 summer associates from Paul Hastings as well as two associates from Paul Hastings in San Francisco. The clients will arrive for appointments and the law students will interview the clients, take that information to the attorneys, get the advice from the attorney and deliver it back to the client. I grew up in a rural community in Oregon and I truly believe that everyone should have some access to justice on some level. Without the Justice Press Project, the legal services community wouldn't necessarily have the resources to hold clinics like this. Even if I don't win, at least I feel like I'm, I have a uh, right on my side. And uh, they helped a lot emotionally. It's like a, an angel or whatever you want to say, you know. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I can't say thank you enough. I came to law school quite idealistic and wanting to help people and I think it, that kind of got lost in the first year of law school. And it wasn't really until I started volunteering that I realized, I kind of remembered why I'd come. It just feels good. It feels good to help someone with a problem that's real and a problem that, um, that they might not be able to handle on their own. It's a privilege to be a lawyer in this country. And there are millions of people out there who need those skills to eat, sleep, you have a place that's free from violence. And the reality is that once you step into that relationship with those people who need you, you will also be served. Really nothing beats seeing clients walk away in tears and just holding your hand and saying, thank you so much for helping us. That, that beats everything.